The first thing you're going to do is to put a lot of flour on your countertop. See, like I have here. Okay, I only have one small pan, so I can only make a small pan of rolls this morning. I'm going to have to make the rest into bread. Then you grease the pan. Really good. And you pour a little bit of butter in the bottom of the pan, like so. So it looks about like that, okay? Now you're going to take some brown sugar. And sprinkle it in the bottom of the pan. About that much. You want just a nice little a nice little coating of brown sugar on the bottom. So it looks about like that. Okay? Now take some table syrup. Put some table syrup on top. Okay, it's going to look about like that. Doesn't matter if it's not all the way around, it'll go around as it, as it bakes. Oops. Can't get my peanut, my package of nuts open. There you go. All right, then sprinkle in the nuts. And be generous with your nuts. And if you get them all in and it looks like there's maybe not quite enough syrup, you can add a little bit more syrup, which I think I'm gonna do. Okay, now it's time to make the rolls. My dough might be a little bit sticky. I'm probably thinking it might be a little stickier than I want it to be, but it's gonna be just about right. Might be just a little bit sticky. I haven't made rolls in a long time, so I've kind of forgotten how it goes. And I've got enough bread here to feed an army, I think. camera holder fell over. Stayed up there, camera holder. There. All right. I thought I had a rolling pin, but apparently I don't, so I'm going to have to use my hands. And my dough, it really is just a little bit too sticky. It should not be quite this sticky. So I'm going to have to make do. I don't have my, um, I don't have my rolling pin here, which I thought I did, so I'm going to have to do without it. Okay, since I'm only going to make one little pan of rolls, I'm just going to cut some of the dough off here. And I wish my dough wasn't quite this sticky, but I can't do anything about that now. Okay. Now, so you're going to roll it out into a rectangle, your dough, about a oh, half inch or so thick. I'm 
just having to push it down because I don't have a rolling pin, which I just wish I did, but I don't. But I guess I can make it work by hand. Okay, so it's about a half inch thick, thereabouts. Now I'm gonna put some melted butter on it and smear it around pretty good. I kind of like to mix my brown sugar and my white sugar together before I put it on anything. So I'm going to do that a minute. Just please hold. About um, one third brown sugar, two thirds white. Sorry, I said that backwards. About one third white sugar, two thirds brown sugar. All right, now. See, now I have brown sugar and white sugar mixed together. And I'm gonna add some cinnamon on top of it. So I'm gonna sprinkle this on the bread, on the dough. I'll hold up the camera so it gives a little better picture of it in a minute. some cinnamon room on top be generous with the cinnamon but not too terrible strong because if you make cinnamon too strong it has a bitter taste to it but you want it to look pretty well covered okay I'm gonna hold the camera up so you can see what it looks like when it's ready to roll see this is what it looks like when it's all ready to roll up Now, we're going to roll it from the long side up, and we're just going to start in the corner and roll it tight. Again, I wish my dough wasn't quite so sticky, because it doesn't make it easier when it's this sticky. But it'll work, I think. Okay, you're going to end up with a roll that looks about like that. See that, how that looks? Okay, now you cut it about inch and a half widths and put them in the pan. You have to leave enough space for them to grow. Remember that they're going to get double in size, so you have to make enough space for them to grow a little bit. wash my hands a minute then I'll show you what they look like in the pan. Oh, 
Okay, they need to rise again until they're about double in size and fill up the pot the top of the pan and then they're ready to go into the oven at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. And that's it.